Hey everybody, Battleborn Batteries back here again uh, to give you a little breakdown on alternator charging. Today we're going to be talking about DC to DC chargers and lithium battery isolation managers. A DC to DC charger is a, a great choice, um, really depends about the, the size of your system. What it's going to do is take the energy from the alternator, up that voltage and push it back to the batteries. It's a great version. Um, it's really effective protecting the entire system, cutting off the two systems from one another so you don't ever drain your starting battery. I mean, in this case, one of our favorites is going to be the Orion TR Smart. Um, it's 12 volt to 12 volt, 30 amp DC to DC charger. Very easy, very straightforward as far as wiring goes. You're going to have your two input coming from your alternator and then your two output going back to your BBGC3 in this case. The good news about it is you don't have to add an extra ground to the system. And the reason that's so important is when we're splitting and separating out the two systems, the chassis and the house bank, we want to make sure that that's nice and taken care of. So the good news is that you don't have to do any of that with this. Um, I also am going to show you how. Now, any devices that you do get from Battleborn Batteries will already be pre-programmed for our batteries. So, MultiPlus, Orion DC to DC. Obviously, we already talked about that, but we need to throw some numbers in that when it gets in the system. Solar charge controller already is coming for the specs of our batteries, so you should be good to go on that side. So anytime you get anything from Battleborn Batteries, um, we are going to make sure all this stuff is pre-programmed for you. So that way you can just put it in your system, connect it up, and it's already going to be fully functional for you. All of these items will come pre-programmed, ready to go out the gate from us. We will need to put in some settings for the BMV712. Um, just so we can have that sync up with the rest of your system. But other than that, everything's coming pre-programmed. Now, let's say that we were changing over your system. There's only a few things on this charger. It's a very easy, straightforward profile to set up. All you need is the Victron Connect app. Um, we need to make sure our charger enable is turned on. Pretty straightforward. Make sure your charger's turned on when you're trying to get it to work. 14.4 on our battery charge, 13.5 on a float, and then the rest you can just leave there. Um, the bulk limit, time limit, is going to be 10 hours. The only reason we set it there is because you're not going to be driving for 10 hours very often. So when you do turn on your vehicle, we want to make sure that Orion starts charging right when you start doing it. The next option we wanted to talk about today is our lithium battery isolation manager. Very easy, very straightforward. We like this with bigger systems a lot of the times, just because this item is going to take the alternator charge coming in and it's going to provide a bigger bulk charge going back to your house batteries. So obviously with this, this is only giving you 30 amps an hour. Um, so this is really basing, opening the floodgates, letting that power flow back. And it's also letting the alternator rest. So that way you're still protected on both sides. And when you turn off your ignition, again, it's cutting off the two systems. So we make sure those are nice and separated. Very straightforward on this one. We got our chassis battery, our coach battery, and our ground right here in the middle. Um, those are the three that you will need to make sure are nice and secure on there. Other than that, these are just for functionality on your specific system. The good news about this too, um, if you have a big class A, class C, class B, um, this item is going to make it so you don't lose the boost button function on your dash. So if your batteries ever do, uh, do go die, I mean, this is going to make sure that you can just boom, start your vehicle engine, get that alternator charging going again, get that battery back to alive. One other thing that I wanted to mention is there's a little device in here. It's a little relay at the bottom of the Orion. It's a little green piece. To make sure that this charger is working, you need to make sure that that is connected in the system. When you're putting everything in and installing, you're gonna, that's not going to be connected. So if you're sitting there wondering why it's not working, make sure you have this little green piece connected up at the bottom. Really don't be shy. If you have any other questions, uh, give us a call at Battleborn Batteries, and uh, we'll, we'll talk you through it if we need to.